I'm Anil Kumar and here is another question from test paper on calculus application of exponential functions. You may pause the video, copy the question, try it out. The question here is question number six, which is a thinking question. For the function f of x equals to x to the power of four e to the power of x, determine the intervals of increase and decrease, determine the absolute minimum value of f of x and local maximum value of f of x. We have another question on this page which is determine the absolute extreme values for the function f of x equals to sin x minus cos x plus 6 in the interval 0 to 2 pi. I already have solution for that question so we will solve question number 6 in this particular video and I'll provide you with solution of the second one rather a link for the solution of the second one. Let us now look into the question on interval of increasing and decreasing. The question is for the function f of x equals to x to the power of 4 e to the power of x analyze the interval of increase and decrease to find local maximum and minimum. So we are given the function f of x as equals to x to the power of 4 e to the power of x. For increasing and decreasing intervals, we need to find derivative of this function. You can apply the product rule. So 4x cubed times e to the power of x plus x to the power of 4 times derivative of e to the power of x which is e to the power of x. Now let us factor this. e to the power of x is common and x to the power of 3 is common. So we can take e to the power of x times x to the power of 3 and within brackets we get 4 and here we get plus x right so these are the values these are the factors for the derivative to analyze the interval for increase and decrease we need to find critical points right so let us find the critical points so we'll start with critical numbers now critical numbers are numbers where the derivative could be 0 or undefined. In this case, uh, we can have zeros at two places. One is when x cube is 0, so we get critical number at x equals to 0. The other one is when x equals to minus 4, right? so minus 4. So these are the two critical numbers for us. Now at these critical numbers, we are going to analyze increasing and decreasing interval. So let us say that that's a number line and on this number line we have minus 4 and 0 as our critical numbers. Now we can take test points on this number line in intervals. The first interval is from minus infinity to minus 4 then we have interval from minus 4 to 0 and here it is from 0 to infinity. So these are the intervals. Within these intervals we can take test points. So here a good test point could be minus 5. Here we could take minus 1 plus 1. Right? So these are the test points in the given intervals. Now at these test points we will see whether the function is positive or negative. So what we can do here is we can write down the factors and see whether they are positive or negative. e to the power of x is one of the factors. You know e to the power of x is always positive, right? So it is always positive in all the three portions will be positive. Then we have x cube. x cube will be negative when we are taking negative values, right? Negative values cube is negative, positive is positive. And then we have a factor 4 plus x, 4 plus x. If I use minus 5 here, I get a negative value. Minus 1 will give me positive. This will also give me a positive value, right? So if I consider multiplication of all the three, then what do we get? This is what we're trying to figure out, right? Then we get derivative, which will be positive here, right? Two negatives. One negative will lead to negative, And all positive means positive. If the interval is positive, then the 
function will be increasing, right? So in this interval, from minus infinity to minus 4, the function will be increasing, right? And thereafter, negative, it will be decreasing. And after this 0, it will be again increasing. So clearly from here, we have local maxima and local minimum, right? So we get maximum value at minus 4. So let's find the value at minus 4. That is the maximum value, which is minus 4 to the power of 4. We substitute that in the function itself, right? And e to the power of minus 4. We can use calculator and calculate this answer. Now, let us also calculate the value at 0, so f of 0, which is going to be the minimum. So, 0 times anything is 0, so we get 0 here. If I substitute 0, we get 0, right? So, let us find what is the value for minus 4 to the power of 4 times e to the power of minus 4, right? We have within brackets minus 4 exponent of 4, right? Times e to the power of, shift e to the power of, minus 4. So we'll write minus 4 within brackets and that is equal to 4.688. So we get this value as 4.688, right? f of 0 is 0 for us. So, so clearly we got our answer. We have local maximum at 4.688 and the minimum is a value 0 which will be at f of 0, right? So that is our answer. It is local maximum at x equals to minus 4 and the value is 4.688 and local minimum is at origin. Correct? Origin. Okay, so origin. So that is how you could do it. I hope with this video you clearly understand how to analyze the first derivative, find intervals of max increasing and decreasing, which can give you local maximum and minimum. Thank you and all the best.